Man, we are in for a real treat today because Chef West Depp from Red Sky Cafe down in beautiful Dutt, North Carolina, has decided to come up to the north, the freezing Arctic North, oh, and share with us his culinary delights. Welcome back, my friend. Good to see you. How you doing? I'm doing. Are great. you surviving the cold out there? <laughs> it's a. Uh, it was a cold drive up. That's you true. Know? But I had the heat working in the truck, so I'm yeah. good to go. So what are you cooking for us today? Well. Today we're going to do a little bit of the flavors of the fall. I got some sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes. Next week we're doing a big buffet. Thanksgiving, it's a good time to bring the family down to the Outer Banks, rent a house, get it at a deal, mm -hmm. enjoy. You know, there's a, it's still beautiful down there. Today I'm going to be doing some. Um, well, we're going to be doing some turkey because we're going to have turkey on the buffet next right. week, and we're going to do rockfish. They're catching rockfish down there right now. It's Perfect. a prime time to be doing some fishing, and we've got venison because a lot of people have been going hunting and stuff like that, and they're wondering what do I do with this when someone brings it home. And I'm going to show you a little different twist, quick and easy, and it's not your typical stews and stuff like that. Always fun when West Step comes, so we're in for a treat. He's going to be cooking in just a moment, so stick around. We're back in the kitchen with the one and only chef West Step from Red Sky Cafe in beautiful Duck, North Carolina. And and I have to say this, I know it's cold out, but to me there's not there's no such thing as a bad day. No. On the OBX. I mean, it's always warm down there. It's always nice. It's you know warm I mean? in so many ways. <laughs> it is, and it's a great time of the year to be down there. Southern comfort. I love it down there in, in this, well, fall, early winter, whatever it is. And Thanksgiving week is like a breath of fresh air because we get a lot of visitors mm -hmm. come back. You're bringing your families and everything else. Um, got the beautiful houses, got the run of the beach. You can take your dogs out. You don't That's have to worry right. about a lot of people. You don't have to wait in line for restaurants. You don't have to wait in line to get into a Red Sky Cafe. The no. shopping is great. There's great deals. There's great fishing. They're saying, you know, like you said, and the restaurants are a lot of them are open. There's a lot. Everybody's still ready down there for you guys to come visit. Um, next week, what we're going to be doing is a couple different things. We're mm -hmm. going to be doing, if you want to spend your time in the cottage with your family and you don't want to cook all that Thanksgiving dinner, we are doing Thanksgiving to go. Mm -hmm. Now that's a turkey breast. I've got fresh thyme. You keep an eye on it for me, would you, Chris? I got you. And um, basically, we're just searing it. It's already par roasted off. I'm gonna do a little bit of something different with the cranberry sauce. I got a little cream. Uh huh. Here Made a little go. cranberry relish right here, and I'm gonna mix those two things together. And we're gonna reduce that down to kind of make a gravy for that turkey. So you're doing cranberry in cream. Cranberry in cream. Nice. Reduce like down. That. It's gonna be really nice and sweet. And we've got fresh venison, boom. A lot of people are out there, their people are deer hunting or whatever. We got venison tenderloin, so it's just like the beef tenderloin, not nearly as fatty. Someone was asking me earlier, they said, well, how do you make sure it's not gamey? One thing I did was I tenderized it. I got a little bit of thyme, a little bit of rosemary in with the flour. This is not gonna taste gamey whatsoever. It okay. often depends on what kind of animal has been taken. But anyway, boom, look at that, nice and golden brown. There you go. So anyway, next week, Thanksgiving, we're doing a big buffet. We're open at 11 o'clock. We're open all the way through the day and the evening. We're also doing Thanksgiving to go. Thanksgiving to go. Now you want to call in advance. Call in order, advance. Order what? Your bird, your dressing, all the sides. You can order the whole nine yards. You, you can go. order just bits like and that. pieces. So if grandma loves to make the stuffing, then don't order the stuffing, but you can do everything else. Right. And um, we got a little Marcella wine. So some uh, other quick tips for people who aren't real sure of how to cook venison. Because there's a lot of hunters out there right now. They yep. know how to catch and they know how to kill. They don't know how to cook. Well, one thing is, is this is the tenderloin, which everybody's going to go, well, that's the easiest part to do. But also you could do it with the back straps. The other parts, the legs, the hind quarters and stuff like that, they are done really good in stews and chilies. Look at that. I'm going to get a little bit of butter in there. That sucker's done. That sucker's done. Okay, Turkey's picking the done. turkey out. Now what I'm going to do is slice that on a bias. It's nice and moist. It's crispy. Crispy and moist. Look at that. She can eat turkey. We're going to put that with the sweet potatoes. Nice, very nice. Curry tuck sweet potatoes. Look at that. Oh yeah, cranberry sweet cranberry cream. Like a little cranberry Something gravy. Different. And look at this sucker, man. Look how nice this has turned out. Yeah. The butter makes the sauce. Venison tenderloin cooked all the way through. Down I want you to know, you just cook turkey, venison with gravy Bang. in under two minutes. This yeah. guy works fast, and it'll work for you and in you, your cottage, too. You know what I say, 
first bite's always taken with your eyes, so That's we right. took a little bit of these extra garnishes mm -hmm. and we got a little of this. That's one thing you're going to see on our Thanksgiving buffets. You're going to see a lot of different foods presented. We're going to do a little bit of oysters in the next segment. We're going to do rockfish, which they're catching a lot of right now. We focus on local fall flavors. Right created and presented in a little bit of a different way. It's not your typical buffet. It's not. No, and real quickly, for uh, people out there cooking their own meal this uh, Thanksgiving, some tips and things to avoid. Well. <laughs> making that turkey nice and, and juicy. Making the turkey nice and juicy, making the stuffing. I mean, the biggest thing is it's not, Thanksgiving is not a real hard meal to cook, but it's very, it's time consuming. And, right. it, and you know, it's a lot of work. You know what I mean? Prep as much up as early as you can. That's right. The next, the first day, the day before, whatever you do, that's how we do it. You know, mm -hmm. prep it up, cut your veggies and stuff. The more you got ready, the more prepared you are when it's dinner time. Share the duties, have fun with your family, and then I'll pitch in afterwards to clean. Now, do you cook your uh, Thanksgiving meal or is it somebody I else? I cook it at Red Sky Cafe. I know you do, but it's like you were spinning it with your family. If I'm spinning with my, they come to Red Sky Cafe. They come to Red Sky Cafe. <laughs> well, there, if, you ever, if you're unsure, just go see Wes. Hey, yeah. uh, we'll cook with uh, uh, the rockfish in the next segment. Stick around. Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show, everybody. We're back now in the kitchen with Chef Wes Step from Red Sky Cafe in Duck, North Carolina. Okay, so we uh, we watched. Uh, oh, oh, time for the rockfish. The rockfish We've seen turkey, time. venison, and now it's time for the rockfish. Outer bank sea salt, uh -huh. fresh cracked pepper. Keep it simple. You hear that thing popping in there? You, you got the skin on. I got the skin on, and I'm going down, and I'm just going to cover that sucker. Now it's November, so it's got an R in it. And it's getting cold out, so it's screaming oysters. Yeah, they got local oysters down there. I just popped this one. I'm gonna pop this one right here. You see the little crab in there? Oh, you got lucky. Yeah. The lucky crab. The crab, a lot of people will freak out. The crab is a sign of freshness, not infestation. All right? So, yeah. you know, how, did he, how did he get in there in the first place? I have no idea. But there's another one right there. Oh, nice little, my goodness. Here. That, I don't know yeah. if you can get him or not. Right there. Nice little kicker. A lot of people love to eat those as well. Anyway, we're going to pop those. Had a gentleman earlier, I don't know if he's in the audience or what, but he came up and he said he loves them raw. So we're going to keep it simple. We're going to do some raw ones, mm -hmm. and I'm going to finish some off cooked with this rockfish. Now, we're also going to do a really simple sauce with this rockfish, which is sour cream and a little Vidalia onion. Okay. Capers. This is also excellent on smoked fish. Nice. And fresh dill. Capers dill. Oh. Now, the end of November here, we're coming up. That's pretty much it, Chris. And I tell you what, you can whip that up. This is one of those things you could prep up the day before and you could have it with some of your fish on your Thanksgiving feast. All that prep helps you execute the dinner. And have fun with little, the family. Outer Bank sea salt and fresh cracked pepper. Now, the other thing we got coming up is we're doing Christmas parties. And that's, you know, we right also do chefs corner. on calls and stuff mm -hmm. like that if you come down for, you know, this time of year. We don't have as many weddings going on. We're doing, um, of just to name a few local businesses, and I'll have more next time I come up. But we'll be doing like Carolina Designs. We'll be doing the Town of Southern Shores. Mm -hmm. We're doing the Kitty Hawk Methodist Church. Oh, nice. They always get venison on there every year. And um, anyway, we just love doing that interaction with the locals. One of the great things about being on the Outer Banks this time of year for all your visitors out there is you do get to meet the locals, the business guys, the workers, the everybody, because we got time to talk. They do, and yeah. they can talk. <laughs> Colorful characters on the OBX. Yep. So look at that rockfish. Time to flip. That's now, I, now I noticed that you scored it, and not only that, but you left the skin on. Please I did. Please do tell. Please do tell. I left the skin on because that's a really fresh piece of fish. We got it from. I got it right uh, last yesterday evening. Just came in. I got mm -hmm. it at Carowan Seafood, which is right across the bridge. I got it at the local market. Um, really fresh. It's going to keep the fish intact. It's going to lock in some flavor. It's going to be nice and crispy on that side too. Nice. You know what I mean? And you can always take it off the skin if you wanted to, but. That, that's just the way I did it. Okay, so they're starting to cook. Uh, starting I did to scale it. You, you, it is scaled. Of course. Okay, well, you did scale it. But you know, you were saying that you were catching the rockfish now, but they've been killing the, the speckled trout, too. Yes, they have. Off the beach, man. Yeah. Speckled trout, a good run for them. You know, if you're coming down there, like I said, hit the locals up. TW's Tackle Shop, I know you've mm -hmm. been by there a million times. Yep. Justin or Robin or Terry, go in there, ask them what's hitting. You'll be right on. They'll, yeah. they'll, 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 they'll put love you on to it. see you catch fish, you know? And they're still catching some drum, too. So. And they're still catching some drum. Okay, quick shout out before we wrap it up. Okay, um, my friend and trainer, Levi, who me and him created that Tastefully Fit thing. What up, Levi? Levi Burge. He just came in third in the World uh, Natural Bodybuilding Championships down in wow, Boston. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, it was great. And uh, he's been an inspiration. We did a Tastefully Fit seminar, and he did a seminar at the gym, Outer Bank Sports Club, about a week or so ago. Had 80 or 90 people 
He's really supported by the local community, and that's the way we do it on the Outer Banks. That's the way we do it. Okay, you got about 15 seconds to, to plate. Can right. you do it? We're going to put that right there on the lemons. Boom. And then all I'm going to do is hit it with just a little bit of that dill sauce. Yep, spread it on nice and thick. Boom. And I tell you what, that is a tasty dish. You got the salt, you got the sweet from the dill, and the sour cream just creams it out. Really simple. Okay, so turkey, uh, venison, and rockfish. Don't forget, if you don't want to cook your own meal this Thanksgiving, you can have Wes do it for you. He's located at Red Sky Cafe. They're open daily for lunch and dinner, 1197 Duck Road in Duck, North Carolina. Give them a call, 252-261-8646, or look them up online, Red Sky Cafe. Com. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Wes. Happy Thanksgiving to you, my friend. Take it easy.